Local investigators looking into two threats to local schools that happened over the last week. The Columbia County Sheriff's Office telling News Channel 6 two cases dealing with messages of school shooting threats are getting a close look tonight. News Channel 6's Ashley Osborne brought you this story earlier this week. She's live in the newsroom now with an update. And Ashley, today I know you talked to the Columbia County Board of Education. Brad, with two investigations of school shooting threats involving Columbia County schools in a seven, eight day span, one involving Snapchat, the other text messages, forced us to want to know what's the conversation among district leaders about these types of warnings and how they're being handled. Today, we talked to Columbia County's Assistant Superintendent Penny Jackson. She explains when they hear about a threat, they let law enforcement know ASAP because often the warnings start outside the time frame of a school bell. So then we get wind of it that there's discussion about this or there's a Snapchat. Social media has been it's hard to trace, so our administrators and law enforcement spend an abundant amount of time trying to get to the source. And sometimes they can find it, sometimes they can't. She says administrators get statements from students while law enforcement does things like going to homes and finding out if the person has the means to carry out any harm. We have to determine if a code of conduct violation has occurred and they have to determine if a law has been broken. And here's how it's handled if a student has broken the code of conduct. That would be considered a terroristic threat and um, you know there would be suspension involved and then depending on the severity of it it would you know come to a disciplinary hearing. And that's when a punishment is determined based on the severity of the evidence and the evidence is key. We have to have actual witnesses come to hearings. We have to have input from anyone who might have been involved because we're not going to off, you know, operate off of hearsay because it's a child's education and our main goal is to have school and to educate our kids and in a safe, positive environment. She says from a district perspective, their interaction is fueled by the school leaders. Our conversations are more of updates from the administrators saying, hey, this is what we have found. We'd like to send something out to our parents. There's a lot that goes into trying to decide if the entire community needs to be brought into the conversation or if it's just a conversation with a parent or two. She says even a joke can end with an arrest because they don't play around with these kinds of threats. Live in the newsroom, Ashley Osborne, WJBF News Channel 6.